Genesis chapter 1, verse 1 to 3. The Bible says, In the beginning, God created the heaven and the earth. And the earth was without form, verse 2, and void, and darkness was upon the face of the deep. And the Spirit of God moved upon the face of the waters. And God said, Let there be light. And there was light. I speak to your life, to your home, to your family. Let there be light in the name of Jesus. And somebody said in a humorous way that it should actually be Genesis chapter 1, verse 0. Praise the Lord. Why? Because God existed before the beginning. But you know what is interesting? Is that there is a parallel to be drawn between the story of the creation and what is going on in the world today. And let's quickly go to John chapter 1, verse 1. I'll still be back. John chapter 1. I read from verse 1 to verse 5. It's one um, scripture that I know we're all familiar with. It says, In the beginning was the Word, and the Word was with God, and the Word was God. The same was in the beginning with God. All things were made by him, including the cure for this virus, were made by him, including the resuscitation and restoration of your business, including the you know, restoration of your finances. All things were made by him, and without him was not anything made that was made. Again, this tells me that even as the whole world helped us, Skelter, even as the great powers and nations with all the technology run from pillar to post, the honest truth that if God does not permit and allow and enable a cure to be found, then nothing will happen. But I know God is a merciful God, and I know that soon His mercy will manifest and prevail in the earth in the name of Jesus. Verse 4. In him was life, and the life was the light of men. And the light shined in darkness, and the darkness comprehended it not. Praise the name of the Lord. So you can see a bit of a parallel between, you know, what happened in verse 2 at the very beginning of time and what is happening now. Who knows? Is that a suggestion? Is that a hint that perhaps God? Perhaps Jesus is on his way back. Mm. Food for thought. So the parallel is that the earth was without form, there was darkness, you know, things were not going well. I mean, look at what has been going on. The total, the um, count for deaths has been increasing. Nations are into confusion, lockdown, sickness, death. 
back home see, it's not a pretty sight. And as grim as this picture is, it will not end like this in the name of Jesus. In the same way that the Spirit of God moved upon the face of the waters, if only we will allow Him, the Spirit of God will move, will brood over our lives and brood over this nation, and the light will begin to shine in the mighty name of Jesus. Praise the Lord. So we can see the parallel in that the world was in bad shape as it was then and as it is now. We can also see that the word of God was present. Why do I say it was present? Because we saw in John that in the beginning was the word and the word was with God. And we saw in verse 2 that it says that nothing was made without the word of God. So the world was in bad shape. The word of God existed. And then the spirit of God began to or we can say began to brood. And that can be likened to what happens when a mother hen sits upon the eggs, broods over them. Physically sits upon, broods over them, and generates some heat. And eventually, after a process that has been orchestrated by the Almighty God, the eggs are transformed. They hatch into chickens. Praise the name of the Lord. So it's a process, but you can see the Spirit of God brooded, moved over the face of the deep. And after the Spirit of God moved or brooded over the face of the deep, then the light began to shine. Hallelujah, the light will shine for you in the name of Jesus. And what I find interesting is that as soon as the light began to shine, the darkness passed off. Because the Bible says in John chapter 1, um, verse 5, and the light shined in darkness, and the darkness comprehended it not. It means that when we allow the light of God to shine, the darkness will begin to recede. And I learned recently, you know, I, I think it was one of the Holy Ghost services, the general of the service teaching, and we learned that light travels backwards. Praise the name of the Lord. And I pray concerning you and concerning myself that as the light begins to shine, the darkness will give way in your life in the name of Jesus. And so, when the light began to shine, that was the point at which the miraculous work of creation began to take place. That was the point at which things began to form. God has said, let there be light. The Spirit of God began to move, and then the earth was formed. You know, the light came, the earth was formed, Created the stars, the heavens, he gave the seed, everything began to take shape. Praise the name of the Lord. And I believe God with all of my heart that as you and I allow the word of God to dwell in our hearts, because the Bible says that if we dwell in our lives, what to dwell in us, we will ask for it all will. So as we allow the word of God to dwell in us in this period, during this compulsory vacation, during this divine Sabbath. We allow the word of God to dwell in us. And then we allow the Spirit of God, we invite the Spirit of God, we enlist His help to brood over us. Then the light will begin to shine. And then the creative miracles will begin to take place. It's a small thing for God to help us to send a cure, a vaccination, to put an end to this, um, to this virus. It's a small thing for God to repair broken economies. It's a small thing for God to rebuild businesses that have been destroyed. And I pray that as the light shines, we'll begin to see his creative work manifesting in our lives in the name of Jesus. So I want to encourage you during this time, let's live these dark days as it were. Let's internalize the word of God. Praise God. Let's dwell in the word. Spend time in the word. Become familiar with Don't forget, you see, the word is what's God and the word was God. It's like saying the time you spend in the word is time you are spending with God. So let's internalize the word. Let's get to know God. Let's get to know the word of God. Let's invite the Holy Spirit to dwell in our lives and to grow. And as we do that, I believe with all of my heart that we begin to see his creative miracles at work. In the same way that in Genesis, the light began to shine and everything changed. What, the, you know, the earth that had no form acquired form. There was darkness. Instead of darkness, the light began to shine. And then God began to order the 
believers began to order the sun and the moon and the stars. I believe that God will begin to order everything in our lives. Whereas it was in a state of formlessness, things will take shape and begin to acquire form in the name of Jesus. Amen. What will you and I do in this next few weeks or whatever time it may be is important. So I encourage you, spend time in the world. Spend time with God. And it's the help of the Holy Spirit. Befriend the Holy Spirit. And as we do that, I believe God that the best is yet to come. I believe God that the light is about to shine in our lives in the name of Jesus. Now, of course, if you're not a child of God, hmm, unfortunately, the light cannot shine. And so if you have never surrendered your life to Jesus, if you have never yet made him the Lord of your life, invited him into your life, you have an opportunity to do that right now. So if you want to surrender your life to Jesus, just bow your head and pray with me. Lord Jesus, I thank you for dying for me on the cross of Calvary. I ask for forgiveness for all my sins. I ask that you will come into my life, wash away my sins by your precious blood, and write my name in the book. I ask that you make me a new creature in you in the name of Jesus. I ask that your light will begin to shine in my life and the darkness will not be able to comprehend. Thank you, Almighty Father. In Jesus' mighty name we have prayed. Amen. If you have prayed that prayer with me, please get in touch with us. Send us a note, send us a message or a comment on Facebook. And as you do that, we'll be very happy to get in touch with you. God bless you and the Lord keep you. They will come your way next time. God bless you.